I'm Rachna and I'm back with a new lesson. Well, last night I went to a party or uh, I'd gone to a party. Well, I don't know the difference between the two. I don't know when to use I had gone, but I surely was at a party. Well, that is what today's lesson is about. We're going to learn using the past perfect tense. What is the past perfect tense? In the past perfect tense, the verb is always in the third form. Okay, so like I always tell you, every verb has three forms the present, the past, and the past participle. Here we have the past participle. But it is important to remember you cannot say I gone. Okay, you always say I had gone. So when you hear sentence structures like I had gone, had done, had completed, had finished, that means it's a past perfect sentence. Okay, so now let's learn how to use the past perfect tense. Now if I make a sentence saying, when I reached the station, the train had started. Now there are two things that are happening, reaching the station and the train started. But one action happened first, then another action happened. So when you want to say which action happened first, you use the past perfect tense because this happened first and after this there was another action. Use a simple past tense. Okay. Now why do we use a past tense? perfect tense in this sentence. Now supposing at 11.45 the train left okay, and I reached say by 11.50. Okay. Now we are talking about a past action but two things are happening. So the action that happened first that is the train had started you always use the past perfect and there is an action that happened after that maybe it's more recent you use a simple past tense so remember we use a past perfect tense when you are linking it in the past or probably probably to an action that happened in the past okay so between two actions the action that happened first is always the past perfect tense the action that took place later on is a simple past. Do not get confused because this is the second part of the sentence. It really does not matter, but it happened first. So put this in the past perfect tense to show that this happened first and this in the simple past tense. Okay, now let's look at the next sentence. Jane had read a lot about elephants before she went to the zoo. Again, there are two things happening, reading and going to the zoo. So when I say she had read, again it's the past perfect, this happened first, okay probably she read a lot, she did a lot of research and then she went to the zoo. I'm using a simple past tense here. Okay. But just supposing I want to ask you, did she read a lot? So how am I going to make a question? It's going to be as simple as this. So I'm going to say, had Jane read a lot about elephants before she went to the zoo? So you take had, you remove it before the subject like I have done here. Continue your sentence with a question mark in the end. And that's how you make a question in the past perfect tense. Again, it's very clear here. She read first and then she went to the zoo. So I say she had read a lot before she went to the zoo. Okay, in the next sentence, before the installation of the new software, productivity had been low. Okay, so now if you realize there is no simple past verb used, it's only a past perfect tense. Well, for all those who get confused what is been, it is nothing but the third form of be. It's the past participle. Okay, so first the productivity had been low, 
and the recent thing that happened was the installation. We have not used a simple past tense to denote that there was an action that happened later on, but this is what happened, a recent event, the installation. So before the installation of the new software, productivity had been low. First the productivity had been low and then there was an installation that took place. Okay, so don't get confused, here we are denoting this happened first and then there was an installation that took place. Okay, in my next sentence, after I had had my dinner, I completed my work. Now, first of all, a lot of people get confused, how can had and had come together? Well, it can, it's very simple. Supposing I say, after I had eaten my dinner, I completed my work. That means first I ate and then I completed. So the simple past here, the past perfect here. All I've done is, instead of eaten, I have used had. So you have have in the first form, had in the second form, had in the third form. So it is nothing but replacing the verb eaten. So you say after I had had my dinner, that means we ate a dinner first, I completed my work. So such a sentence structure is absolutely correct. Don't get confused and have this misconception that had and had can never come together. Well, they can in a past perfect tense. Okay, friends. So remember, use had and a third form of the verb to make a past perfect tense. Use it to link it in the past when you want to show one action happened first and then there was another action. The action that happened second always comes in the simple past tense. Okay, well this brings me to the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'm sure all your confusion is now clear. Please do put in your comments and queries. I'll be back soon. Till then take care and bye.